right. So I don't know who Emma Chamberlain is, but it seemed like what she does is vlogs. Um, she does vlog stuff. I don't know. I'm curious because she's number one trending right now. I mean, like I look at her page. She's been gone for like what six, seven months. So I mean, yeah. I mean, you gonna see like what she about? Cause I mean, I don't know. But yeah, we let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 17 minutes long. All right, let's get right. Okay, it's different. It's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. Is that Emma Chamberlain? I would assume so. Ask you just one question. No, I already know. Should we just walk around Washington Square Park? Are people gonna notice that this isn't plugged in? Because the second somebody sees a microphone, they're not like, is that thing plugged in? They're like, oh. You know what I mean? This is fucking public humiliation. Walking around like, Let me ask you this a is question. how I make friends. I don't know how to make video. friends okay. anymore. I haven't made a friend in a really long time. Oh, uh, this is making me feel like a fucking prank channel. Somebody. Yo. <laughs> I just want to get this person. Damn. Dubbed her. Dubbing her. What's your favorite spot to eat? In New York. Hands down, Franklin Park. They have the best happy hour, four to eight, if you're 21. You gotta go to Lucali, pizza. Mm, lunch. There's this place called Tacombe. I, I, so I see, like, from what I see from her so far, I feel like her channel is, like, vibey. Like, very relaxed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's more, you know, just sit back, relax, and just go with the flow. Type beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's not doing nothing crazy. She's just, you know, just being the wave in the water. The wave in the water. The wave in the water. Burritos have been like my favorite food for my like whole life. Sweet potato kale and poblano burrito. Spicy beans and cheese burrito. And maybe guacamole. I don't know. I don't know. Guacamole, $15. Okay, I think I'm gonna do sweet potato kale and poblano. Although I love a classic bean and cheese, but there's no eraser. There's no er I can't erase my answer, so I'm gonna just have to go with what I dude. marked off, I guess. You know what? I'm done. Yeah, I like Duke Dennis, bro. They mad cool. I don't like what I, I... Oh, wait, they gave us two. I... <laughs> Do you think they give us two? Be they were like, they're gonna fuck up the first time. I'm getting the spicy beans and cheese burrito because that's who I am. When I was 15. No, but I don't know. Getting a burrito with just beans and cheese, I don't. I don't really. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't. When people like say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a burrito," and they just get beans and cheese, I'd I, I be like, "Ain't no no chicken, you know? No no steak, you know? No pulled pork, something like that." Because I feel like it's just. Beans and cheese? I don't know, bro. Like, it's just no... F it's probably gonna, it's probably flavor in it, but, like, it's just... You know, it's not, like, mm, you know, there's nothing, like, really to savor off of it. But I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. I would get a bean, cheese, rice burrito probably four times a week because it made me happy. Also, now that I'm 21, do I get a margarita? I'm getting a fucking margarita. She's 21 with 11, almost 12 million subscribers. I'm subscribed. Thank you. How long is she making YouTube shit? I don't know, like, the margarita etiquette. Like, do I squeeze the lime in there, or is that just for, like... It's delicious, and I hate tequila. Confidentially, I've thrown it up multiple times. That's a good margarita. I have nothing to compare it to. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need... I feel like I low-key need more white friends. <laughs> like... Like, I feel like low key, like, oh, I'm sorry, I was going out my arm for a second. Um, I feel like I low key need more white friends because, like, I feel like they know some so many secret things, and I want to get put onto the T2. Like, I feel like they, like, I don't know, 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like they know stuff that black people don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, it's just like a thing, like, you know, like, it just... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. This is interesting. I actually thought that cheese Almost was chicken at first, so... It is so good. It's like the tortilla is so soft and crispy. The cheese is like. It is cheese, man. You know what I mean? Like it's a burrito just, does it's sound like good though. Where it's just like, where is it? No, like the cheese has some body. Oh, that's all, yeah. It's fucking amazing. And now I'm drunk. I actually love a spicy marg. It's such a summer vibe. This so? might be my summer drink. Like during two the sips. winter, I'm like a vodka soda with lime, and then like during the summer, I'm a spicy marg. What's your favorite place to go shopping? Oh, it's oh Soho, for sure. It's Definitely Soho. Uh, You're like, I don't go shopping. I don't really go shopping. <laughs> I like 260 sample sale. I love a good sale. I would say Keth or Zara, because I just want it. L Train Vintage. In Brooklyn, Concrete Jungle, it's like a branch off oh, of okay. L or oh, Turban yeah. Jungle or whatever, but yeah. it's like, it's cheaper than L Train. Honestly, I stumbled up on Dauphinette. Like, literally just walked in, saw the cutest clothes. Yes. Just go in, and you'll see the cutest no, I got you, bro. Ever. I got Super you. Super cute and unique stuff. I gotta see. Hold on. Yeah. <gasps> How cute are these pants? Stuff like that makes me totally lose my mind. Like, I love stuff like that. This is really beautiful. She has an interesting style, too. Gorgeous. Wait, I love these little things from my house. No, I want this. But I just don't know how I'm gonna get it home. I could ship it. It has fucking strawberries in it. Yo, it. this is new for me, bro. This is so new. Cute. Okay, great. Um, can I ask you what your favorite spot to hang out is in New York, besides the park we're in right now? I cannot include the park. Okay, you can include <laughs> the park. Okay, the park. So you love Washington Square Park the most? Yes, but I don't come here as often as my favorite place being the subway. I feel like a lot of people have unfavorable things to say about the subway. I don't know why they say that. It's a rare opportunity for various people of New York to be together, to share the space with other New Yorkers, to be involved in this very exciting uh, movement by train. I love that. Yo, like, I love how she gets to the subway and the music gets more edgy. Like, the music gets more intense. <laughs> you know, I would love to take a ride. I really would. I think it would be a really good experience. Um, but I just love walking. Also oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Caught her. Caught her. She doesn't want to go on the subway. She's thinking, no, mm mm mm. Mm mm. I caught her in four fucking K. For fucking K. She's not safe. You're not safe. No, Emma, you're not safe. No, yeah, she, she, she's not from New York, man. She's scared to take the subway. She's scared to take the subway. Nah, you're not from New York, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I love walking. Nah, bro. I ain't trying to hear that, Emma. I ain't trying to hear that, Emma. You tweak, mama. Nah, mama, see, yo. Like, she had a chance to take the subway. Nah, I, I like walking. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. She probably saw one of the rats. It was like, nah, bro. I, we, you gotta walk, bro. I'm not doing this. <laughs> so, I was born in 2001, and I don't know how to read a map. I just don't feel confident. I would rather walk or just not go than to go on the subway. I just, I know I would get yeah. lost. You could just turn on the GPS. I have a phobia of stepping onto the subway and accidentally falling underneath. It's nothing against subways. It's just my own personal mental It's block. cap, bro. Cap. It's cap. What do you guys think is the most overrated place in You've got big goals? We've She's got capping, new ways bro. to reach She's them. Capping. New ways to make that cheddar, bacon. I would say Times Square. I, see, I don't live here, so <laughs> I found it really exciting to be in Times Square, but yes, Michelle yes. hates Times I don't like it. And I took my mom there, and she hated it, too. It's fun, yeah. like, once, and then you never want to go to Times Square Yeah, like, Square once again. I've been there once, I'm like, I'm good. Like, I don't yeah. know. Oh, 
Oh, why she look mad big? That's probably like a, a paw tripod thing. Holding it up. Let's just get this over with. Oh, she's in Times Square. I, I... <laughs> what the fuck? I hate it here so much. No, this yeah. is my least favorite area in New York. There's so much going on and nothing going on at once. Like, I hate, hate, hate Times Square. This is overrated. This is terrifying. I hate it. I need to leave. You know what? I'm going to buy nuts, though, first. Nah, the nuts. Oh. Oh, so she's not from New York. She's not from New York. Listen, it's like I come to Times Square. Get I thought she was from New York. The almonds. Oh, you know, I'm streaming on Twitch, bro. Pull up. I'm not gonna lie, though. I'm streaming I on Twitch. Wanted to try these nuts. I mean, they're delicious. I'm done with Times Square, though. I cannot be here. I hate it here so much. I don't even know why I came. I should have known. Bye, bye, Times Square. Love you. Loving you. Mm. What is your favorite coffee shop? Ooh, Ralph's. I'm not, it's overrated too. Ralph's? I mean, yeah. The vanilla latte. I'm gonna say it. Um, what the hell's that place called? Roasting Plant Coffee. Puerto Rico over here is really good too. I'm not from here. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, I go to Gasoline Alley. I got okay, this from Gasoline Alley. Joe Coffee. Mm. I like Blank Street. It's very Blank Street. Yeah. Yo, I'm still trying to figure out what like what her content is like i want like I, I guess like what she at like she just travels and like asks questions and stuff i don't know like goes to different locations to try things it's good it's good because you know what i look for in a cold brew because my recent order when i go out is mm. a cold brew i used to get lattes i'm at a place in my life where that's too much milk a lot of cold brew that's that you too get much out milk, is yo. sour. I want something nutty. So this is really good. Um, nice size. That's a great size. Not too much, not too little. My favorite thing about the coffee shops in New York is that all of them have this little outdoor seating area. Like, look how cute that is. Although there's something about almond milk. I love getting almond milk. It's my milk of choice always since day one, since I started drinking coffee. It kind of congeals. Like, I don't know if you can see the little white floaties in it. It looks like there's just like a bunch of little eye boogers floating around my coffee. It's really, really unappetizing. But it happens to me all the time with almond milk. What do you think is the most nice. underrated spot in New York? I'm actually here just on a trip. I don't even know. Low key fresco salads, way better than sweet green. No way. Yeah. My favorite place to go for cookies. I love how she has the mic, City. but it's just a mic. It's oh. like literally nothing on My the mic. My favorite thing in New York is chocolate chip cookies. And I basically get one every single day. Yeah. So I like sort of am a chocolate chip cookie aficionado. This is a terrible day for my IBS. Chocolate chip cookie, coffee, and a burrito. Like, <laughs> just like sabotaging myself today, seriously. I feel like I'm really picky about my chocolate chip cookies. I like them to be really gooey like borderline like raw, honestly. This is feeling a little bit crunchy, so I'm a little nervous. That's a fucking behemoth. <laughs> mm. See, having like just a professional like camera. That is the best cookie I've ever eaten in my life. That's probably just a friend. With it's always coffee, like I mean like it doesn't really look like what I want a chocolate chip cookie to look like because it's kinda it kinda looks dry. It is not dry. This shit is so moist, not to mention it has height. Like it has fucking height to it. Oh my god. Yo, like this is diff for me. What do you think is the most overrated spot in New York? Ooh, I think this is like a unpopular opinion, okay. but Jack's Weiss Rita. I mean, Washington Square Park is a little overrated. Also, Empire State Building. Oops. Oops. Somebody had to say it. I like her music. Like, that she has. It really goes with the vibe, like. I'm actually, I've walked by the Empire State Building. I'm not going up inside of it. Why? 
because I don't think I need to. The fact that I don't really know what it's like at the top of the Empire State Building, I love that. It keeps it mysterious. Same thing with the top of the Eiffel Tower. It's nice to just look at these things and be like, God, what's it like up there? The second you go up to the top and you see it, the, the wonder, the mystery is over. That is also my excuse so that I don't point. have to wait in like a two hour line a for really a point. ticket to take the elevator up to the top of the Empire State Building. I'm just all about weighing out the pros and cons of things. If I have to wait in a two hour line, I'm just probably not gonna do it. There's just like certain deal breakers when it comes to activities for me. If it's like a water sport, if I have to wear a life jacket, I'm not doing the activity. Jet skiing, well, number one, I have a traumatizing story from jet skiing. I got lost in a lake on a jet ski for an hour and had to flag down some family's boat and then make them call my mom. <laughs> that is a true story. Um, so I don't really like jet skis, but I also don't like jet skis because you have to wear a life jacket. All of your mobility's gone, all your freedom's gone. It's not even fun anymore. And listen, I understand it's a safety thing. I mean, I hate life jackets. Empire State. Let's pull over. I actually don't Let's know what up. the Empire State Building is for, and I just realized that, so I do want to Google it. Almost every floor of the Empire State Building is devoted to mm -hmm. office space. I mean... How tall is the Empire State Building? 1,250 to... Is that... That can't be feet. Is it miles? It can't be miles either. Doesn't that feel like more than 12... 100 feet? <laughs> I think that this might be a little bit overrated, and I'm saying that without going to the top. So if you're mad at me, that's totally valid because I haven't even gone to the top. Yo. Should we try to go to the top? Oh, that's where that is? I see that on Instagram like every day, and I've no. Shorty was like, nah, we're not going to the top. Nah, she want to go to the top. I'm screaming. Are you working? That is pretty spectacular, I'm gonna say. She was popping not, shit at we're first. We're not even at the top. Okay, are you ready to go? Why is it not windy up here? Now I do kind of want to like experience the top of the Empire State Building. All right, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is pretty badass. $1,200. Um, $5,000. And this one is you gotta take a pic of it, right? I wish I knew like what areas I was looking at. Like I keep trying to guess, like I'm like, oh no, that's definitely Midtown. I feel like I'm in Batman. I don't watch movies a lot, but I recently watched Batman and... <laughs> so. What is this? What? Like... Nah, like, whoever edits this does a good job. Damn, what's good, bro? What's good? Thank you, Rose, man. Wait, is her dad her cameraman? Oh my god, is that her father, her cameraman? That's mad cute. Empire State Building. I would rate the Empire State Building an 8.5 out of 10. My rating system's very strict, so. An 8.5 is pretty high. Gracias. Danke schön. Shit. But didn't she say she doesn't really like, like having friends or something like that? Thank you. You're welcome. What's your favorite spot to hang out in New York? I personally like Washington Square Park just because you get to see a lot of people. Okay, it's really close by. Now I might have to shoot a video on Washington Square Park, bro. We just Washington have like Square a little Park. lunch. Hey, Solid, good, Yesterday bro. I went to the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's go, it my was boy. amazing. Seward Park. I like Prospect Park. I would say Central Park. Central, Central Park. Park. Yeah, we're going to do a picnic there. For well, my apartment. Okay, besides <laughs> Probably like Central Park. Central Park? Yes. I grew up around there, so that's, you know. Amazing. That's where I smoked weed for the first time as a child. Yeah. <laughs> And they got the horse chariots, man. Hi. 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 A 
Oh my God, what a precious dog. Central Park is amazing. I would say it's the best park in New York. It's super relaxing. It has like a sort of serene feeling Yo. that some of the other parks in New York don't have. It feels like a place you just want to lay down at Intriguing. and read a book and just- Hey man, pull back up, man. I'll be playing up, some games My dad soon. always go around and ask people, like ask the locals, like, hey, what's a good place to go to dinner? Hey, what's a good place to go get coffee? Hey, you know? And I was always yeah, like, stop, up. dad. Like, that's so embarrassing. Like, that's so embarrassing. That's cringe. And then I tried it for myself today, and I had the best burrito I've ever mm. had. I bought some cute new home decor, and I ended up in some magical places. I also ended up in some fucking awful places. But funny enough, those were the places that people told me not to go to. Intriguing. Like, it was my fault for going to Times Square. I be thinking Times Square is overrated, bro. What's good, Solid, my boy? I be thinking Times Square is overrated all the time. Like, it's cool and all, but I'm not too keen on it. Like, I'd rather try different locations. Yo, like, I really do, I could, nah, this is valid. This is valid, like, it was cool. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not used to this vibe of a video, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not used to this esque, esque, you know, like, it's a lot more relaxed, a lot more relaxed, as I say, you know? Mm -mm. The queen is back. Luke Schneider, intriguing. I'm gonna read the comments. I gotta see who these people are out of curiosity. Jasmine Tyler. I know who this is. Mm. Dang, like, yo, like, literally, you have the worst day ever. And then I saw the notification that Emma's back in the sleep felt so much better. Emma, your videos are literally my source of comfort. Oh my God. In fact, your dad shot this. You two had a little wholesome New York City dad and daughter date together. It's really cute. Yo, that, that, I like that. That was cool. Dang, yo, they love her. Them some Emma, Jesus. So does she go on like she? she uh, was she like she posts? She usually posts like a video. Uh, the four five. She posts a variety of videos of like a month, like five videos a month or something. But uh, wait, when she started? Oh yeah, let me just go back. When she started channel? Let me just show the channel. Um, start by oldest. Five years ago. Okay, she first started making videos five years ago. Okay. Um, damn. Okay, see. Oh, that's crazy, though. Nah, bro. She was really, wait, so she's 21 now. She's making videos from when she was 16? Dang. Dang. That's actually kind of crazy when you think about it. It's actually kind of crazy when you think about it. When you think about it. But not as dope. That's dope, man. Shout out Emma Chamberlain. Shout out Emma Chamberlain. 